Hello, good day to all of you. Today I'm going to show you how to wire a Star Delta starter with motor reversing option. You know, with Star Delta starter, motor starts with its windings connected on a star arrangement. But within few seconds, its connection changes to Delta connected arrangement and continue to runs on Delta arrangement till it being stopped. When reversing of the motor too, it should follow the star delta starter sequence accordingly. For wiring work, you need a three pole breaker and two magnetic contactors to use for forward and reverse running of the motor. Two more magnetic contactors are needed for star and delta operation. Here you will see, there are only one set of normally closed auxiliary contact points are available on these magnetic contactors. For control circuit wiring, we require more auxiliary contact points on forward and reverse contactors. So we introduce two additional auxiliary contact blocks for forward and reverse magnetic contactors here. Fixing can be done easily by sliding those down the slots provided on the contactor front. Let's show the three phase motor also on a side. You can see the six ends of the three coil sets are connected onto the motor terminal box. We require a motor overload relay also for this setup. Let's connect it to the forward run contactor. Although it is on the forward run contactor, motor will be powered through it at any operating stage of it. Let's start wiring by connecting three phase line to the breaker. From breaker top, connect wires to the L1, L2 and L3 terminals of the forward run contactor. Make sure to connect the wires on the red yellow blue color sequence to the L1, L2 and L3 terminals here. Now, take the wire connections out from the T1, T2 and T3 terminals of the overload relay and connect it to the U1, V1 and W1 ends at the motor terminal box. Let's wire the reverse contactor now. Before that, I'll move the overload relay downwards for you to see the wiring easily. Connect the wires from forward contactor to the L1, L2 and L3 of reverse contactor, with the color sequence being the same as red, yellow and blue. Then connect the T1 terminal of the reverse contactor, which is the red one, to the T1 terminal of the forward contactor. Now the highlighted T2 and T3 terminals on the forward and reverse contactors need to be connected to each other after changing the color sequence. That means T3 terminal of reverse contactor goes to T2 terminal of forward contactor, and the T2 terminal of reverse contactor goes to the T3 terminal of forward contactor. Now, connect the T1, T2 and T3 terminals of forward contactor to the L1, L2 and L3 terminals of delta contactor, also keeping the red, yellow, blue sequence. Let's see how the delta contact to bottom terminals are to be connected to the motor terminal box now. You will see a delta connected winding on the bottom right corner, and the U1 and W2 coil ends are connected to the red phase wire here. So we need to do the same on the terminal box too, that is to connect the red wire to both U1 and W2 coil ends. V1 and U2 coil ends on the diagram are connected to the yellow phase. V1 already has the yellow wire connected to it on the terminal box, and U2 also need to be connected to the yellow line here. Further, W1 and V2 ends are connected to the blue phase line. On the terminal box, W1 already has the connection with the blue line, and we need to connect V2 also with the blue phase. Now what we simply do is, connect the red, yellow and blue phases from T1. T2 and T3 terminals of the delta contactor, directly to the W2, U2 and V2 terminals on the motor terminal box. Let's go to the star contactor wiring now. A star connected winding set is shown here, and the coil ends of U1, V1 and W1 are connected to the red, yellow and blue phases, as done in the motor terminal box. Other three ends of the coils, which are U2, V2 and W2 are connected together on the diagram. To get the star connected windings on the motor here, we need to do the same on the motor terminal box too. So we take three wires from W2, U2 and V2 ends of the motor terminal box to the T1, T2 and T3 terminals of star running contactor. 
On the top of the contactor, we connect three terminals together. Now the power wiring is completed. Let's see how this setup operates with the three-phase motor. All the contactors are at off position now. Let's switch on the breaker first, and to run the motor forward, switch on the forward run contactor. Also need the star running contactor to be switched on, since the motor starts with the star connection initially. Power runs through the breaker, forward contactor and the thermal overload relay, onto the U1, V1 and W1 coil ends of the motor terminal box. Since star contactor is also at on position, W2, U2 and V2 coil ends are connected together, and the motor starts running now. You can see the motor runs forward, and is on clockwise direction here. Also you will see, the phase sequence of U1, V1 and W1 coil ends at the terminal box are red, yellow and blue, when motor is running forward. Further, motor needs to run on star connection, till it reaches around 80% of its full speed only. Motor will achieve this speed within 3 to 5 seconds and need to be changed to delta connection thereafter. So the star contactor is switched off now, but the delta contactor didn't power up yet. This very short delay period, nearly around 50 milliseconds is called pause time, and is there to stop any short circuit during this changeover. This delay period is set on the star delta timer, and will be discussed with control circuit wiring video later on. After this pause time, W2, U2 and V2 coil ends at the terminal box, gets power through the delta contactor. Motor will run continuously on forward direction but now is powered through its windings on delta connected arrangement. Let's stop forward running now, and need to wait some seconds to make sure the motor comes to a standstill, before starting it on reverse direction. So, switch on the breaker and the reverse running contactor now. Also need to switch on the star running contactor too, since motor starts with that. Now power flows through the breaker to the reverse contactor. From the reverse contact to bottom terminals, power flows to the bottom terminals of forward run contactor. You will see the initial red, yellow and blue sequence, on T1, T2 and T3 terminals on the forward run contactor, has changed now, to red, blue and yellow. This is because we interchanged the T2 and T3 terminal connections, on forward and reverse contactors previously, during wiring. Then the power flows through the thermal overload to the motor terminal box. You will see that, the U1, V1 and W1 coil ends gets power through the red, blue and yellow sequence now. When powered, a three-phase motor produces a rotating magnetic field, and the rotor of the motor turns, following this rotating magnetic field. This happens because the voltages on three phases are moving, 120 degrees apart from each other. By simply switching two phases in a three-phase motor connection, the rotation of that motor's magnetic field can be changed, thereby reversing the direction of the rotor. Now, the other three coil ends in the terminal box are connected together through the star contactor. Motor starts running now, but on the reverse direction, that is on the counterclockwise direction here. The phase sequence is R, B, Y now as opposed to R, Y, B, last time. After running for 3 to 5 seconds on star connection, star contactor is switched off, and the pause time is activated through the timer, for safety reasons explained earlier. After the pause time of around 50 milliseconds, delta contactor is activated. Here also you will see, the phase sequence to the W2, U2 and V2 coil ends in the terminal box, is red, blue and yellow, to match the color sequence on U1, V1 and W1. Motor will run on delta connected arrangement on reverse direction now, till you stop it. I hope now you have a fair understanding of how, a star delta starter works, with forward and reverse operation of a three phase induction motor. If this video is useful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.